How to create product bundles using Shopify bundles. Hey everyone and welcome. I hope you're all doing great. In this video, I'll showcase how to actually create bundles for your products within Shopify. We will be using the app Shopify bundles and let's actually go ahead and walk you through the steps. So the first thing that you will need to do is just go ahead and open up your Shopify store. Now you'll need to obviously have more than just one product or you can actually have one product but if you want to create a bundle within quantity, so if you want to sell one item uh, multiple times with offers and stuff, that also can work. But for generally speaking, if you want bundles with different products, then obviously you would want to have more than just one product. Anyways, next up, we will need to go to our uh, Shopify app store and get the app. So we will just go ahead, click on apps, all recommended apps, and just navigate to Shopify uh, app store. From here, we will need to navigate to uh, the search bar, the search bar and type in Shopify bundles. And it should appear for us. So it's going to be this one right here, Shopify bundles. So it is for free, completely for free, which is great. Uh, it does have some downsides uh, and we will talk about that in a sec, but it's completely for free and you can actually create multiple uh, bundles using it so you can just click on it and click on install and we just wait for it and then uh, complete the installation process by just clicking clicking on install here um, and very simply it's just going to be ready for us to use so right away you will see the button where we we are going to be able to create bundle we can just navigate back to this to this uh, page every time we need to create a bundle and very simply we just click on it and here we are going to be able to actually go ahead and create the bundle now uh, here is going to be where it can be downsided a little bit which is the amount of stuff that you can actually add to your bundle so you can add up to 30 products to your bundle now the downside is you can't really add them if you um if you do if you have more than three options which means uh like the type of variance so for example if you have uh four products with with different variants then it's not going to work so if it's three 30 products if they don't have any uh variants or at least uh, these amounts so three options uh, or 100 variants if it surpasses that then it's not going to work uh, and I will show you what exactly what I mean so if you have this correctly then you can obviously create your bundle so let's actually get started and create this one so the first thing that we will do is actually give it a name and it's going to be a proper name because uh, this is going to be what people see so make sure you add the details that you want people to know of when they want to purchase this bundle, meaning the names or the what they will be getting basically, or just, you know, a summary of it. So we can just do colors here because my products in here is just a bunch of colors to for this for the sake of this video. So let's just do it. Uh, so let's just go back here, uh, create bundle, give it a name colors and now we will need to select products so we just click on select products and it's going to give us the uh, option to select any of our products now you see those are going to have variants so we have this one that one and also this one so i'm just going to add the ones that have uh, variants so we can just do this this and that and now you can see we've we surpassed the options here uh, meaning the types of variants that we have because this one the uh, hoodie here has color so that's one size that's two material that's three and another size that is four so this is what i mean by options you can't really have more than three options so that's uh that's actually going to be a little bit of a problem now what we can do is just for example remove uh this one or what we can also do is actually um, set a default. So for example, if we don't want to, this to count as an option here, for example, and we just want to sell the glass material, 
We can do so by just clicking on the edit next to it and set a default value. Let's just select glass and we just click on confirm. And now we have only one option, which is the size. Same goes here. If we want to edit this and for example, we just want to sell medium. We can just do that and we've got zero options here. So you can uh, play around a little bit just to make sure that the requirements uh, meet. If you can, if you want, you can just reset and we can just add another product, maybe this one so we can make it work. So now we have more than just a hundred uh, and we've got uh, more than uh, three options. So what we can do is edit this, the colors, and let's just say we want to only sell the black uh, variant. We can just click on that, confirm. And the options now are um, complete, three out of three. And for the size, we only want to sell medium. So we can just go ahead and uh, locate medium confirm and there you go so that's pretty much how to uh work on your products and stuff and also if you want to maximize the uh product limit we can add products that do not have any uh, uh variations like green and red here you know you, you don't really have any variations for those it's not going to take up any space for the options or variants. It's just going to take space for the products, obviously. So this is going to be my first bundle. So just colors or actually, let me remove this one. So it makes sense a little bit. So colors and we've got all the colors here. So we can just basically save and continue and move on to the next uh, page uh, of setting things up. After we save and continue is going to take us to this to this page that we are all familiar with uh, here we will need to just uh, redo the whole thing well, our title is going to be the same description we just give it a little bit of a description telling people what they will be getting so you will be getting all the products and then we can obviously upload media that could, you know, include the entire thing. Uh, let me just upload a random image just so we can see how it's going to look like. I'm just going to upload this one by Mortis. Uh, let me just add this for the sake of this example. Now you can obviously set up tags and stuff, you know, as normal as it's a normal product page. But here comes the thing that we can actually uh, start working with. And now we've got the variations here and everything. Now, let's say we want to uh, adjust the pricings for them. So, for example, we want to adjust uh, these. We can actually go to each one here and uh, go ahead and adjust them. Now, it's going to give us the materials and variations here that we can adjust. For example, by uh, the purple materials in here, we can see them. And we can also see this uh, item. Anyways, we don't really need to change any of those. We can uh, later on uh, change it so it becomes on sale or something because, you know, if you want to add a bundle, usually it's going to be on a little bit of a sale. So I'm going to do that later on. First, let me just go ahead and uh, let's actually preview it first. So this is how it's going to look like uh, and it's going to show us pretty much all we have. Now, I believe, did I just keep those on? Okay, so I think I just kept the glass and small ones on, if I'm not mistaken. If not, then I just didn't set up the quantity right. Anyways, this is going to be pretty much how the bundle looks like. So let me just go ahead and exit out of here. And let me just save this. Okay, so what else can you do? We can also edit things from within the bundle after we are done. By just going to this page, which you should find within products, if you, if you kind of left. You can just click on it. This is the bundle right here. Uh, and you can just go ahead and either edit the pricing individually by clicking on those, uh, which let me just do real quick. For example, the red one, if you want to make it on sale a little bit, we can just, you know, change this, add it here, and then we just decrease this a little bit, so 140. Uh, and we can just, you know, actually save this and do the rest for the other uh, stuff here. So the, the SKU is not... Uh, should not be blank and all of those stuff obviously you would want you would you would actually have a legitimate sku this is just a an example product so that's this is pretty much how to edit the pricing for each of each uh one of them uh and also if you want to actually go back to the 
uh, bundles view and edit things out we can go ahead and do it from here you just see bundled uh, products by bundles or Shopify bundles and you can just click on here and edit with bundles and it's going to take you back to the actual screen where we had uh, the whole thing here so you've got red green orange and purple now we can actually go back and create another bundle we, we are pretty much done with this one if you want you can just go ahead and set it as active once you're done and it should be uh, ready to go okay so let's actually go back to my shopify store and see if we actually can find it the bundle within here within the future products yes it's this one so you can see the pricing is 622 uh with these I, I apparently i didn't i didn't add uh any uh, stocks for these uh stuff here anyways so we've got 622 here uh the pricing now we can change the entire pricing for the bundle by going back to products uh and going to the bundle itself and scrolling down underneath those where we can find the pricing now we can make it so it's the same uh, or we can actually change it so it's uh, pretty much different for each one, for each variant. Uh, let's say we just want it to be the same. So we can just go ahead and make this entire thing 500 instead of 622. Same goes here and same goes here. And also, don't forget about the other variants, uh, which apparently did change itself. Okay, so great. So now it should be 500. So if we just click on save... And if we preview it, now it should say six, uh, 500 instead of 622 once it actually loads in. As you can see, now it's 500. So that's pretty much how to set up the price for the bundles. Now, if you want, if you want to create another bundle now, let's just go back to apps. Let's go to bundles and let's cre uh, create bundle from here. Give it a name, maybe uh, buy uh, five, save, uh, I don't know how much, a specific number, like $20 or something. Uh, so you could do something like this, and you can just go ahead and click on save and continue. Oh, sorry, I forgot about the products, which is the most important thing. So we just select the product, let's say green, we just select and then now what we need to do, this is going to be the quantity bundle instead of, you know, multiple products is now quantity bundle. So we can just click on three, three dots, add quantity as an option, and we can just go ahead and uh, change the values. So one is going to be one, obviously, two is going to be two. Now we can do something like uh, uh, three is going to be the same. So three, four, three, and we can actually make it something different. So we can just do um five which is going to be here uh five obviously we don't want to lie to people because look if basically if they choose the five option they'll be getting five pieces if they choose the four option they should be getting four pieces that's pretty much it so we can just do seven as well or maybe ten ten is going to be also make sure it's the same so ten so now we've got to the option to buy one buy two buy five or by 10 uh, we can just click on done and we can just go ahead review them and click on save and continue now what's going to be special about this is that we can actually go ahead and um, save or change the pricing points for each uh, one of those so what we can do is actually change this uh, buy more save more or something just give it a catchy title that makes sense and we can just scroll down until we see this and then the pricing point now this is going to be the price if they purchase one this is going to be pr the price if they purchase two so we can make a little bit of a discount so instead of 304 we can just make it uh i don't know 299 or something and here same goes when they buy five they will be getting it for uh 700 and obviously you just make it a little bit more reasonable when it comes to the pricing it's going to be how you want it to be so here it's uh let's just make it so there you go a little bit too crazy but let's go for it it's just in an example anyway so this way is going to be another a different type of bundle which is the quantity bundle so buy more save more that kind of stuff
So we can just click on save and it should be ready to go. Just don't forget to add a description describing what this bundle is about and also adding media to showcase uh, those items here. So once you are done, we can just go ahead and preview it. And it should show us if you buy one is going to be this price and you can, you know, see the rest of them. Now it didn't load in obviously, but uh, once that's pretty much done, we can just, you know, save it and actually have it. Um, or maybe it did load in, it just, you know, I don't, I don't, don't have enough quantity for this one or something. Now it should work pretty much, uh, but uh, I guess it just didn't load in. So this is pretty much how to use uh, Shopify bundles to create product bundles. It's very easy and simple, uh, but it does have a lot of limitations, not going to lie, but it's, you, you can say it's a work in progress. I I heard that things are going to be much um, better and you will have the ability to add more variants to your bundles, which should be great. So with that being said, I hope you liked this video and thanks for watching.